way to Perth uh, for a day trip. Uh, finally, my uh, Rhino Backbone kit is here for the Prado after a two month wait. So I'm heading down there for today, pick that up, and I guess spin around and come back. Try and put a little video together of me putting it on the car. Attempting to put it on the car, I might grab a carton of beer and then have a go, I guess. But anyway, we might stop in at Adventure Kings as well, buy a cheap little light bar. We'll see how we go. See when we get oh, there. We got it. She's all strapped down. I've just got out of Perth, had to sort of beat the traffic. But um, I'll give you a quick look. I'll just mind the flies. It's bloody hot out here, but there you go. She's all strapped down on there. Um, and we've got the backbone in the passenger seat there. But I also went to King's and picked up a 40 inch, I think it is. 40 inch slim light bar, which 79 bucks or something. For the amount of times we're going to use it, um, is what it is, I guess. Pretty cheap. These bloody flies, though. Incredible. I also picked up another set of bodies uh, under warranty there because the King's ones that I had before the mount uh, snapped or broke, not too sure. While I was in there, I just asked about it and she said she'd replace them on the spot, so couldn't complain with that. Anyway, it's enough talking, let's get on, beat this traffic before the weekend. There she all is. Um, just giving the car a quick wash. Make it a little bit easier to try and get these nuts and bolts off for the rails. But yeah, I guess we start taking these roof rails off. That's the first step. We've got the destructions. See what we can do. So there you go. First one's off. Check out all the grime and crap in there. I guess we'll just get a towel and clean it up and start on the other side. Took about five minutes, so it should be quick. This. a little clean up now and you have to take the bolts out progressively otherwise the nuts inside here apparently do fall through cause a bit of drama I've seen that a couple of times so just slow and steady out they come really so we've got those all cleaned out and just a little nut or something in here Anyway, we'll move on to the next step. Which is these bad boys. Remove and apply, apparently. Cover the holes. So make sure it has applied to the body of the vehicle. I'm going to say that's it. Ensure patches adhered to channel surface securely. Repeat this step for all 12 holes. 
Okay, so we'll rinse and repeat that. That's pain. Doing that 12 times, taking them off, and then another 12 times. But anywho, you, uh, they only give you the bare minimum 12 pads, which is a bit, I don't know. I reckon it'd be easy to misplace a couple of them. But I think I'm gonna get, be getting the bolts ready soon. And the next step will be put the backbone on, I guess. There we go. One side of the backbone onto the roof. Put the bolts in. I guess I better get some bolts ready. And we'll whack it on. I guess. I think this is the right side. Got everything up there ready to go. We'll try it out. So this is a pain. Um, having the ball end on the Allen key it sort of helps to start everything off, but then just after it gets down to a certain point, you can't get the ball end in, and you've got to use this little Allen key that's supplied. Wow. Uh, some turns you're only able to get like a quarter of the turn, and I think this back end here seems to be the worst. That's about as much of a turn you can get, and you can't go all the way hard up against it because then you need to pull the Allen key out, which is makes for a real pain. And it seems to scratch your roof up a lot as well, which doesn't bother me because the roof will never be seen. But for someone that's a bit picky, they might have to chuck a bit of tape on there, I guess. Try and protect the scratching. I'd hate to fit these for a living because this is just a nightmare. And this is only the first side I've done.
Yeah. That is incredibly, incredibly hard. Pain in the ass, really. But anyway, this is the finished product of one side. Which looks really good. I'm really happy with that. That's the reason I chose the backbone, because it looks good. And it performs good, I guess. Anyway, I guess we'll crack on with the other side. So, there's the finished product on one side. Now to start the other, which I'm not looking forward to because it's a pain. I wouldn't want to do this again, but just for the looks of it, I probably would. Both sides done, which that last side went a lot quicker than the first side as I sort of knew what I was doing, as you would. But also a quick tip, start from the back, like these ones here. If you do the other ones up first and then come back to the back ones, you can't fit the Allen key in there. So if you start at the back and tighten them as much as you can, uh, and then do the rest, and then come back and tighten them all up after that. You can fit the Allen key in a lot better, a lot easier. As the bolts go down, the Allen key becomes easier. But anyway, I think it's rack time. There we go. All done. The last bit's a bloody pain. I'm guessing this new Rhino Rack Pioneer comes with a different system that just slides in, whereas the old kits give you these, which is a bit of stuff around, but probably should have read the instructions first. Or but anyway. Bloody happy with that. Wouldn't want to do it again. I've got one more thing to go on there. And that's going to be this. So we'll try and get on tonight. And get it working. So I've had these little six inch, I think they are, LEDs laying around. And I've managed to get them to fit on there. Just by using the included hardware of what like, the spare bits and um, yeah they seem to be pretty solid I haven't wired them in yet I'll try and wire them in tonight I'll have a squeeze now I'm going to try and install this 40 inch light bar and a steady bracket which I'm going to try and put under here so it's like a just under the rack try and stop a bit of wind 
and sort of clean look, I guess. But um, yeah, very happy with the lot so far. So it looks like that's all it really is, the steady bracket. As you can see, it's just the one nut that goes into that channel with this plate. Don't know if you can see that. But anyway, if I put the light bar in, it should sit there, I guess. One side, jump over the other and see if that works. There we go. I guess measure these now with that one. Tighten. Good as gold then, wiring, I guess. Oh, there she is. Light bar. Side lights. And the Rhino Rack backbone. Pretty happy with it, really happy with it actually. I just want to check one thing though. If this sunroof still works. Pretty good. Works as it should, I guess. All we gotta do now is wire it up. So, there it is. Got all the lights working. Taking it for a drive, and I, there is a little bit of noticeable wind. Not that much, but um, no, very happy with it. Really happy with it. Everything just went together so easy. And, uh, yeah, just got to start putting stuff on top of it now, I guess, which who knows what that's going to be. But if you like, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you had any um, problems or anything with your Rhino Rack, give us a shout.